do I want it to be harder for people to? Do I want it to be harder for someone to purchase again? Yes. Yeah. Because you'd be surprised, you know, if you have 400 bucks, you can walk from the academy and walk out yep. with a gun in 30 minutes. Yep. Yeah. And I find that disturbing. Right. So, like, like I don't want people to have guns. It's just, I wish it was, I just wish it was a little tougher. Yeah. Yeah, I wish it went through more hoops. It was pretty easy. Yeah. Too easy. Yeah, like I said, I'm a I'm a northern I'm a northerner. My dad's like my dad's a cop, um, so you know I I do I do get it. I just I don't get it like people down here do. Like I think it's just a little much. It's a whole lifestyle. Yeah, 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 what's, the, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Culture. Yeah. How long have you been a cop? Uh, five years. Five years. That your aspiration from a young age? Uh, or no, not kind of... necessarily. No, yeah. no. Uh, I was, I just, I just happened to come up on it based on you know what I did early on. You know, like long story short, you know, I was, I went to school to essentially like, how can I put this? I was always terrible at math, <laughs> like from an early age, and uh, ever since then, I told myself. You know, I'm gonna find a job that requires no math. Right. I was a little math. <laughs> yeah. So I went to school. So and I was a I grew up an alien. Okay. And I was always a lousy student. I was like a C student. I, was, I wasn't on the honor roll. I mean, I, I did I did just enough. You're right, right. <laughs> I did just enough. And, uh, and and that comes to consequences. Right. Like, you know, like if you don't get like 110%, you know, you know, like your options for university are slim. Yeah, start to minim, minim, yeah. Uh, minimize. Yeah, they're slim. And so, <laughs> so my options for universities are slim. So I was like, okay, I could either be, I could either major in interdisciplinary studies, which is nothing. Yeah. Major in nothing. Be a teacher or major in criminal justice. Ah. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna make this one So, so like the, the decisions I made, you know. Kind of made you. Yeah, as opposed to like me, like I want to do this, it was me, I don't want to do this. Right. <laughs> and, and, and that gave me the, and that gave me options based on what I didn't want to do. Yeah. So, so based on the situation, that you put yourself in and the path you chose. Yeah. Are you happy with being you know, a cop? I mean, th this is this is the easiest job I've ever had, and it's also the most stressful job I've ever had. Right. Like, when it's easy, it's easy. And when it's stressful, it's, it'll take, it'll take years off you. Yeah. That's right, man. Listen, I've had some really shit stressful jobs. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I can I I can relate. I, I know what you mean. Yeah. So. Now, do you... Should I make the side? I'm gonna make the bottom a little lighter. Mm -hmm. I guess with your permission. Um, but do you want me to bring this in some too? Yes, just a little bit. Yes. Yeah. Now, what, I mean, I assume you live nearby, or yeah. how did you find me? Um, that, I, I got selected. I lived in Ailey, and then yeah. I moved, I wanted to move in closer to town where I work. Yeah. So, yeah, so we purchased the house about three or four minutes away from this place. Oh, nice, okay. You had Marvita, Ellen? Yeah, the Marvita. Marvita, okay. Yeah. So, and I patrol, a lot of the time I patrol in this general area, and I have a lot of friends and family in this area. Okay. So, I, I've noticed this place. A while back, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna give a shot. Yeah. So, so I'm here. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah, yeah I live in uh, Lantana right across the street. So, oh, okay. Yeah, so, we won't be going anywhere for quite a while. Um, right, worse. Like there. Uh, you know, I mean, I, so I'm from Minneapolis. Mm -hmm. Where I'm from, 
HOAs are not as prevalent as they are down here. Mm -hmm. Like the only HOAs you're going to find in Minnesota are engaged communities or uh, condos um, and townhomes. Um, right. You know what I'm saying? So like the fact that like every neighborhood has an HOA, which I understand that I get the value of it, but when people are telling you what you can and cannot put on your front lawn, um, like when we when I first moved there, I was getting letters from the HOA that didn't even that like weren't my fault. Like they said uh, the shrubbery in the front of my house was not approved, but the builder put it there. They, you know, I was like, it's like stuff, you know what I mean? And then like one of my neighbors, like, and I don't know what your, uh, I don't know what your neighborhood looks like per se, mm -hmm. but in my, on my street, we have probably about like 15 feet of parking space in between each driveway. Mm -hmm. And so basically I share that one little parking spot with both, with my neighbor on either side, right? Right. And uh, so, if you park in between my house and my neighbor to my left, for example, on the street, on the street, mm -hmm. they will send you a letter saying you're in violation. You you have to first park in your driveway. Um, your driveway has to be full before you or your guest can park on the street. But I'm like, that wasn't my guest. I don't even know who that person is. But they're sending me a letter. Yeah, I'm not. I wish I was. Oh my and I'm like, come on, bro. I'm looking forward to that. I haven't gotten that yet. Yeah. So what I've learned is that over time, they leave you alone. But like right when you first get there, they, they write you they write you citations for everything. I'm glad they're still building and new people are coming in. Yeah. But, yeah, man, they had like one of my neighbors took, um, so one of my neighbors, two of my neighbors, I'm sorry, directly across from me have the same landscape. One of my neighbors, both of my neighbors got papers put around their tree in their front yard. One of my neighbors got a letter saying that it wasn't approved. The person right next door with the exact same bricks in front around his tree didn't get a letter. And so he waited a couple, you know, a couple days, checked with his neighbor daily, nothing. A couple weeks later, nothing. So finally, he wrote the HOA. Um, they didn't respond. He called, wound up getting a hold of somebody. And... Uh, you know, ask like, hey, you know, I'm just curious, why am I getting this citation for this, whatever, you know, these these pavers or whatever they call, and she's like, oh, it says here they're unapproved, and so he's like, yeah, but my my direct neighbor has the exact same pavers, and I'm not trying to blow the whistle on them. I'm just trying to figure out why are you guys picking and choosing who you guys are enforcing certain rules or bylaws with. And yeah, it was just it's just a bunch of silly stuff like that. Yeah. But like they told me, I couldn't have a chair in my in my front uh, doorway. Like my porch, like yeah, my you porch area. Porch. Right, can't, I can't have a chair. Now every other every other house in my neighborhood has a chair on their patio, which is why I put or their front porch, whatever. Which is why I, I put mine there. I got a letter saying I couldn't do it. I got a letter saying I couldn't have bricks that the the builder left in my garage around my. Uh, tree was unapproved. I got a neighbor that literally has a, a, the Great Wall of China around their perimeter of their house. I'm like, what are we doing here, man? Be consistent. And then, like, I got. I'm not bad. I'm mad. I wish. I wish I knew. I wish I knew. But it's like it's yeah, it's inconsistent. They told me there was another thing they said that that I wasn't supposed to do. That I literally. Like every like basically the uh, the exterior of my home is exactly the way it was when I bought it, and luckily the day I the, the day I closed on my house I took a video and sent it to my mom, and so I happened to have the video um, footage still on my phone, which is rare because I never keep that kind of stuff that long, and uh, so I sent it in. I was like, and so then the lady's like, yeah, well you need to contact the builder. I said, ma'am, with all due respect, I don't work for you. I don't need to contact nobody. This is an error on your end and the builder's end. The builder dropped the ball on telling you guys what the specs of my home is. That's between you and the builder. But that's not, I'm not doing your busy work. You, you guys need to correct that. And that was the last correspondence I had with them. And, um, How know, long ago was that? Two years ago. You haven't heard back? No. I haven't got a letter, no. Just a bill. They'd be, they'd, be, they'd be fining you? Yes. Now I'm talking about the HOA bill, um, but oh, but, but yeah, no. So so yeah, the funny thing about HOAs 
um, they they can find you, and you don't like you can fight it in court or whatever. But if you are deemed responsible for those fines, if you don't pay them, they start to accrue interest, and they compound the the, the interest accrues daily or something like that. Yeah. So if you ever try to sell your home, um, the the fines and fees assessed stay on the property. So let's say your home is worth a hundred thousand, and you you know you want to sell it for that much, but you got fifty thousand in fines from the HOA. Um, the buyer is going to have to pay those fines um, before they can take ownership of the home, which basically means you either got to drop your price by fifty, or you got to pay those fees. Yes. So HOA ain't quite nothing to play with. I'll just say that. I heard they can foreclose on your home. They can foreclose if you don't pay the fees. Yeah, I heard that. They're going to Serious. There's a mob, man. I'm just serious about power for like a non governmental right. agency. Yeah. A whole bunch of nobody. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, like I said, what I've experienced is after, you know, a couple of years, they kind of stopped being so ticky tack. I recently put a chair back on my front patio porch area or whatever, but that was like two nights ago. So, um, yeah. But I, but the, yeah, I got the parking. I got a parking notice um, probably less than a year ago, and, and what was frustrating, like it was a contract worker that was there to see one of my neighbors that was like next door to me, but they parked in front of my house, and I looked at my ring doorbell, and the car wasn't in front of my house for very long, or like in front of. The, the two houses for very long so it had to have been like the at the t perfect time of day where the HOA was driving by to do their random you know surveillance or whatever but yeah man it's uh, HOA is HOA is a trap <laughs> so uh, congr congratulations thank you, thank you, thank you. I bought into a, a new house and you're also now part of the mine I'm gonna do just a test close to see if we're on the same page. Now, do you get a front hand jump? Do normally, yeah. 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 Is it today the day that you do? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Now, what builder did you guys go with? Syntax. Okay. Yeah. Who's I, um, I didn't know they had those down here. Where I'm from, they have uh, a lot of communities. Yeah, like in, in Marvita, they have like 12 builders. Yes, yes. I thought that was unusual. I didn't know they yeah. had so many builders in one like subdivision. Right. So my development is small. Um, we've only got 350 homes. Mm -hmm. And so my home is a Beezer, and the other homes are MI. Mm -hmm. And so uh, Lantana's got 350, or like it's actually a 344. But um, Marvita, I think, is going to have 1,500 homes when it's done, mm -hmm. something like that. So, yeah, they, they've, uh, they've probably got a lot. But I heard Ellison has 6,000 homes or will have 6,000 when it's done. And, uh, yeah, but shit, Bridgeland, 22,000 homes. Bridgeland will be its own city. Yeah, the county. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> I know it was that big. Yeah, man. I ran through there not too long ago, too. Yeah, Bridgeland is. I was delivering milk in that area. Yeah, Bridgeland is. Bridgeland is. Man, it's nice over here. Yeah, I think Bridgeland is about to be like Cinco Ranch. Man, I was, I was in that area full shirt, too, delivering milk. Uh huh. And, uh, man, it's really nice houses over there, man. Full shirt? Yeah, it's a nice house. Yeah, man, like, one of my wife's uh, friends from work lives in one of those neighborhoods where you have to go in there and check in with Oh yeah, gated community. Like, yeah, it's, that's their own cafe, and like yeah. like Ellison, their own cafe, and stuff like that. But it's nice because it's like they got they got yard, they got big yards too. Yeah. And the house ain't like mansion, they're like one story, you know. And it's in Fulcher or? Oh, this is in Fulcher. Okay. Where is Fulcher? I know it's like somewhere around here. Uh, it's going towards uh, 1463. Like more Acadia's? Well, technically that's Acadia's right there. You can yeah. keep pushing like to the west. 
Yeah. Okay. So, west. so it's kind of southwest of here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've heard of Fosher the whole time I've been in Texas, but I never actually could figure out where on the map it was. Okay, just look at the sides first. You mean to grab your glasses or? No, I'm good. You good? Okay, hold that. I'm gonna let you look at the side profile. Okay, turn your mirror. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's the gold screen. Yeah. Awesome. Then I'll do the hard part and trim the top. You said just trim the top, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, trim. Yeah, I still want to be able to comb it over. Yeah. 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 No, I'm so. not gonna do anything drastic. <clears throat> less is more. I could always do more <laughs> if I've done less, but if I do too much, then you'll probably arrest me. <laughs> <laughs> Over a haircut. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you got my invite for the uh, Ryan Garcia. Yeah, I did. You did? Awesome. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I need 20 RSVPs. ASAP or I'm not going to do it so if that is something you guys are even like loosely considering then RSVP so as soon as, as, soon as you can um, Predictions on the fight? Uh, no, I don't. You know, I wish I, I, I could tell you. Yeah, I'm I not a boxing do. fan. I don't know anything about boxing, to be honest. I grew up in the Tyson. I hope Garcia man. You say you hope Garcia wins? I hope yeah. Garcia wins. I, um, I grew up in the Tyson. It's going to be hard. Take a good fight, man. Yeah. I grew up in the uh, Tyson era, so I, I've never really been keen on watching little guys fight. Like, it just doesn't do it for me. <laughs> hey, everywhere right now is pretty good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're like about, I would. They're about to have like two mega fights, dude. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather watch big dudes fight than little guys. But, um, yeah. Yeah, I looked at I looked at our I looked at our calendar. I said, okay, so, okay, well, we need to put some edges on this. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> I wanted to come in here in a sombrero and a fucking poncho, but it's been fine. <laughs> now every Saturday we play. Uh, yeah. What do you call it? Bad um, Bunny Radio. Yeah, Bad Bunny Radio. Regga <laughs> regga That's a lot of good beat. Yeah. I like his music. I didn't, you know, it wasn't nothing I was bumping on my own before yeah. I, I came down here, but I actually do like it. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, y'all, y'all everywhere, but um, in Minnesota, the um, no, I see a billion, bro. Y'all everywhere. Y'all are everywhere. You got, you know, you guys actually. So, um, people of Mexican are like, you know. Latino, yeah. whatever. Percent is seventeen percent of American population. African Americans only thirteen percent. Like you guys are everywhere. Damn. Yeah, you, you, you outnumber us. But no, I, I used to work with tons of Mexicans. Yeah. And like Salvadorians and people from Ecuador and like. Um, Those people don't get along, dude. They don't. <laughs> they don't. Well. Those Salvadors. And, yeah. People from Honduras. And yeah, Honduras. Yep, yeah, I knew a dude. Always, they always, I got people at my work, they, they always argue stuff, like, about stupid stuff. Yeah, I have, uh, I had a guy from Cuba I work with. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, and, I mean, Minnesota is very similar to Houston. It's just not as much as Houston. Like, yeah. we have all the melting pot stuff y'all got going on down here. It's just a, a lesser degree. Mm -hmm. And so, I, um, the only time I really, and I guess it's still true here, 
I was going to say one time I really ran into our interacted with Mexican, American, brown people, whether Ecuador, Cuba, wherever they're from, uh, was really at work. And I guess it's still true here, but everywhere I go, you guys are the most populated demographic. And what's that? Work is bro. No, 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 I'm not talking about the workers. I'm talking about when I go to AGB, I see nothing but Mexicans when I, or, or brown people. When I go to... When I deliver milk to a restaurant, I ain't no Mexicans in the back. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. When I first moved out, it'd be an Asian restaurant, be Mexican cooking yeah, shit. Yeah. When I first moved out here, <laughs> when I first moved down here, I thought every brown person was Mexican, and yeah. I I later learned that it's you know it's a good chance it's something else. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. you guys are well represented. Are you? You're also uh, Hispanic, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so what up, my brother? What up, my bro? You know the drill. You know the drill. What up, what up, call? What up, call? You got my invite for the for the fight, yeah? Check your email. Check your text. <laughs> whatever, like, oh, whatever strong. you got, whatever you got on the on the Booksy app. Um, I need twenty RSVPs, or I'm gonna cancel it. Oh, it's Sean. He's probably going on another rant. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, you yesterday. What did it say? No, it should, I mean, it was either from Booksy or Sean Cuss Age. One hundred percent. Your If your email is on your profile in Booksy, then I send it to your email and if you have your text um, set up, uh, on or your phone number on Booksy, it's uh, I also sent it there. Uh, yeah, I've sent several things since. Yeah, yeah. I, I made it last year. Yeah, I've sent yeah. several things. So I mean, it's it's there. Yeah, I just wasn't one of the ones. Dang. Yeah, no, That's I said crazy. I said it's a thirteen hundred people, my boy. Thirteen on it. Look, forgotten about. Look, look in your spam. Look in your spam or junk. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Check and see if I took them off, off the top. I think I took about a. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. Say less than that. You've never booked with me, man. Get off my back, man. You should do it. That's a malarkey, guys. Got an officer of the law in the building. He won't stand for it. I'm on duty. I'm on duty. I'm on duty, man. I was trying to get cut. Right. Hey, man, I'm just trying to get my head cut. You got to get all this up. You got to get all this up. Be waiting for me outside. Yeah, right. <laughs> now, my brother's 18 years, and that's about 18 years now. You say 18? Uh, 8 years. Oh, 18. But all my uncles are off. They did all kinds of stuff. I'm just like, 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 I
Do you not care? Is it like what? what? I think it was. I don't think Shit, you live. You you grew up in Haiti. Yeah, I grew up in Haiti too. 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 What year? Uh, 05. 05. Oh, I graduated from Kerr. 08. Oh, yeah, right across the street. Yeah. Uh, man, it's. I, but my guess is they're just trying to use their resources elsewhere. <laughs> and, like, so. My, my buddy, Robert, he, 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 he's a bunch of people. I never asked him that either. They, 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 they know it's, it's going. They know right. Yeah, so, oh my, yeah, so my guess is a lot of times. But it's like, it's like trying to get rid of. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Not only that, I think what it is is like it's a, it's hard to prosecute um, stuff like that because there there's a lot of reasons someone could get in your car on the street. You know what I'm saying? Like. They know what's going on. They know what's going on, but but knowing. Sure. The tight yeah, on, yeah, the they know. Type stuff. Yeah, yeah, they know, but they can't always prove it. Like we know they're colluding against Lamar Jackson, give him a full, co- a full guarantee contract. But how can we prove that? It's it's hard to prove. That's why, like a lot of that stuff, they don't waste their time with it because I know something. I know something to the. What, what does that smell? I don't know. I was, oh, okay. Um, I know. <laughs> no, was fast about it too. Yeah. No, I know. Um, what that smell? I know some. I know. If a cop doesn't think they can get a conviction, they're not going to arrest somebody because it, it affects their their like arrest rate or something, doesn't it? I mean, they can't be giving the secrets out. Right. Yeah. You signed the NDA. Well, if, it, if a crime has occurred and the elements of the crime are met, then you can you can arrest them. Right. But you know, in Harris County. You know, you can arrest them, but the Harris County is one of the few places where you have to call the DA's office. And if the, D, if the district attorney says, no, I don't want that charge, then the guy that you arrested, you have to uncuff him. Right. Or he's going to walk, or what oh, do you take? They pick and choose. Yeah, they pick and choose. But they pick and choose because of if they believe they have a strong enough case to prosecute. They'll take it. They'll yeah. take it because... Like I can, but they gotta I, be pretty much like it's gotta be a no lead. Yeah, exactly. like I can, I can get out of the seat and hit you in the shoulder, and technically it's a, it's assault. Now, if you call the cops and they come in here and they're gonna call the DA's office, and the DA's gonna be like, no, nah, I don't want that. That's weak. That's a weak assault case. Right. So, yeah. So yeah. So I mean, it's. It's not in every county. It's just in Harris County, just because of the amount of arrests that take place every day. Yeah, they Harris said County there's almost the, five Harris million. Harris County's the biggest county under though. Right? Yeah, they yeah. said Harris County's got almost five million people. Yeah, so they're just trying to filter out the. I guess you could say, well, I guess the minor, for lack of a better term, the minor cases. Because it'd be the same thing with like we like. They're. I, I would guess they're looking for the madams, the pimps, because they have more effect on that industry than somebody with a dot. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm guessing that's the same concept. Yeah, that. But if yeah, but if you can get somebody pimp or a madam or whatever, then and you know, hold them accountable, then they may the trickle down effect would be greater than just getting Tina. You know what I'm saying? Doing Tina a favor because Tina's going to make more money. Yeah. Now, right. now, now she's going to keep it all. Now she's got the only thing. <laughs> what are you going to do about that? Right. <laughs> no, there's no way to get away from it. But she's right. It's like roaches and ants. Like, you, you, you're you not going to get them all. Take one down and two more Right. Some of the spooks are like, I'm glad she's off my corner. She's taking all my business. <laughs> she's taking all the business. So what do you think the better department is? Who's the go-to? You, they're all good. You don't have to, you don't have to they're like, they're all good-to. <laughs> <laughs> now, there might be a handful in each department that are, you know, not worth the shit. But, uh, uh, the ones I will not name. <laughs> You think it's more? You think? Uh, you think? Uh, Am I cleaning up over the lip? Yeah, yeah. 
you think the, uh, dang, what do they call it? Uh, State troopers have more of a risk than you guys? Hold on a second. Oh, oh yeah, you're trying, I'm working. You're trying to get a little. Pause. Oh. <laughs> One more. I woke up my kids, and I woke up my dog. I was in shape, and went to the other one. I was in shape, and went to the other one. Did they clean up the inside? I don't know if you can. Yeah, absolutely. I'm worried about you. I'm worried about you. I'm worried about you. I'm worried about you. Question. 